Over the past year, I've helped thousands of students learn AI and land their dream internship and job offer. In this video, I'm going to explain the only two math concepts you need to get started with AI. There are other math concepts, but focusing on just these two, especially when you're getting started, is the key to success. It's what I teach my students, and it's what's ultimately helped them land offers at these companies. Let's get into concept number one, matrix multiplication. Given two matrices, what is the shape of the product? We have a 4x6 matrix on the left and a 6x4 matrix on the right. The first rule to check is whether this matrix multiplication is possible. The number of columns in the first matrix needs to match the number of rows in the second matrix. If these dimensions are unequal, then the output is undefined. When we get to the question on how to actually multiply two matrices, this rule will make sense, but for now let's just accept it. Okay, so the matrix multiplication is defined. The shape of the product is another simple rule. Let's take the number of rows in the first matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix, and those will be the output dimensions. For the actual multiplication, we'll pair up every row in the first matrix with every column in the second matrix. The answer then is 4 by 4. Let's move on to the next question, which asks us to actually perform the multiplication. We have three columns in the first matrix and three rows in the second matrix, so the output is defined and will also be a 3 by 3 matrix. The only phrase you need to remember for matrix multiplication is row column. To get the top left entry, we multiply the first row with the first column. This means multiplying the corresponding numbers and adding them up. To get the other entries in the output, we keep following the row column rule. First row, second column, and we get the second entry. First row, third column, and we get the third entry. Second row, first column, and we get this entry, and so on. This also explains why the number of columns in the first matrix needs to match the number of rows in the second matrix. The number of columns in a matrix is just the number of entries per row, and the number of rows is just the number of entries per column. This might seem abstract right now, but remembering the phrase row column will be very helpful in understanding self-attention, the crux of transformers and large language models. Question 3. At what value of x does this function have a positive slope? Understanding basic calculus is important for gradient descent, the algorithm behind training. We can look at a line tangent to the function at three points, x less than zero, x equal to zero, and x greater than zero. Only when x is greater than zero does this line have a positive slope, so the answer must be x equals three. This might seem simple or obvious, but it's actually critical to visually understanding gradient descent, the first ML algorithm everyone should learn. If you enjoyed the video, I have two more resources for you. The first is our accelerator. We've helped thousands of students land their dream internship and job offer. We even have a full money back guarantee. I've never seen a program like this before. You can learn more at the link in the description. The second resource I have for you is another YouTube video. In this video, I break down the full plan for landing internships and new grad offers in today's market. Check it out. You don't want to miss it. And I'll see you in the next one.